everyone today in this video we'll be discussing about the ACM module 5 super important question which is regarding the parallelizing of the computers and the code generation here's a diagram which you have to make before the diagram you have to write a few key concepts let's have a look what it is make sure hit the like button subscribe to my channel for more videos like this without wasting any more time let's get started so what is the question is explain the different phases of parallelizing computer and code generation parallelizing computer there are different phases which you need to keep in mind so let's have a look at what are the different phases before that you need to write what is parallelizing computer that's a smart person you have to write what is data parallelism it is used to specify how data is getting access and distributed in SIMD and MIMD what is SIMD single instruction multiple data stream and MIMD is multiple instruction multiple data stream in these two conditions how the data is getting accessed and distributed that is called as data parallelism parallelism means in the same moment different data are getting distributed that is called as data parallelism it has the following features first you have tried the five features most important one the first one is runtime automatic decomposition what is decomposition you have a large amount of data that data is getting smaller and that is getting rubbed like this right decomposition means rubbing like this it is getting automatically rubbed during the runtime that is called as automatic uh, runtime decomposition and that is uh, getting executed in the data parallelism moving on we have the mapping specification to the hardware each hardware will have some specification that has to be mapped to it right that is called as mapping of uh, specification to the data or uh, hardware okay then we have the virtual processor support we have the support from the virtual processor directly we can access the shared data and spmd is single program multiple data support there will be a single data single program that will be supporting the multiple data okay that is what the five features of data parallelism then you have to write about the three major phases which actually they have asked the question regarding explain the different phases of parallelizing computer and code generation in the three phases of the parallelizing computer we also have the code generation at the last and the code generation also we have few key concepts let's have a look at what it is a parallelizing computer consists of the three major phases flow analysis optimizations and code generation so let's have a look at what it is it has this thing okay first start from here don't get panic i'll tell you exactly how you need to remember this within one shot you'll be able to remember this hopefully so let's have a look source code is the first thing we need to keep in mind when source code is coming we need to analyze the source code right if you if someone gives you gift you will be analyzing how the gift is how much rupees they have spent to give you the gift everything you'll be analyzing right that is what is called flow analysis in that you'll be checking the dependencies and the analysis of the reuse data dependence control dependence and you'll be doing the reuse analysis then we have the program optimization where you will be making it more better okay for that we'll be using vectorization parallelization and locality pipelining after that we have the parallel code generation when you have optimized the code you'll be generating a code parallelly you for that you'll be using the three concepts granularity which sets the levels and degree of parallelism how much parallelly it can be processed and code scheduling code scheduling again it can be of three types super scalar processor shared memory multiprocessor and distributed multi uh, memory processor it's pretty clear from the words itself what is super scalar means scalar just one type of data shared memory means the memory will be shared among different types distributed means the memory will be distributed among different types that's all what i have tried for expecting full marks make sure the like button subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next